Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Today, we celebrate the memorial of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mass presiders, Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. My heart will rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great listen in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Their descendants shall be renowned among the nations, and their offspring all who see them shall acknowledge them as a race the Lord has blessed. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. Like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels, as the earth brings forth its plants, and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. 
My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hired themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. The Lord puts death and gives life. He cuts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles. He also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed is the Virgin Mary who kept the word of God and pondered it in her heart. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast to pass over. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they have completed its day as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem. But his parents did not know it, thinking that he was in the caravan. They journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances, but not finding him. They returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded and his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and favor before God and man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yesterday, we celebrated the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and today, the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And people would commit the common mistake by saying they are the twin hearts. And theologically, it is not true because to consider someone twin, you must be born at the same time. You must be born at the same time. And, but the argument was 
the beating of the heart of Mary is the same with the beating of the heart of Jesus. Well, it does not make them twin hearts. But the devotion is the two hearts. The two hearts of Jesus and Mary. Which comes first? Which comes first? The answer is the Immaculate Heart. Even though Jesus was there before Mary was born, I mean, yes, but the humanity of Jesus depended on Mary. Because for God to be human, even though He is God, He has to be born of a woman. So the woman who bore Him in her womb came ahead of Him. That's why we all know this, that Mary was immaculately conceived. And because of her immaculate conception, God has given her the grace with an immaculate heart. Malinis, walang dungis, walang bahid. That is what immaculate means. Malinis, walang dungis, walang bahid. Bakit mahalaga yon? Bakit mahalaga? Sapagkat kahit gano'ng kasarap ang pagkain, pag inilagay mo sa maduming pinggan, hindi mo nakakainin. Mahalaga yon na ang pinaglalagyan ng anumang maganda, anumang mabuti, anumang masarap, ay dapat malinis. Was the sacredness of the sacred heart of Jesus depend on the Immaculate Heart of Mary? No, of course. But because of the Immaculate Heart, the sacredness of, Jesus, of the Sacred Heart of Jesus remains and protected. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, if you look at the celebration yesterday, you all know that every one of us has a heart. But not all hearts are sacred. It means not all heart are holy. Not all heart are holy. But why it is important to celebrate the Immaculate Heart of Mary? As I have said many times, when God speaks of relationship, about intimacy, God always uses the image of mother and child. Now the burden of proof the burden is not about Mary and Jesus. The burden is between you mothers and your children. That's the burden. The burden is between you mothers and your children. Why? Why? Because the beating of the heart of your children, of your, of your child, at the very moment, at the very moment that he or she is given life by God, it beats with your heart. Nakakalibutan ito ng maraming ina na ang saya ng maraming anak ay kinuha sa ina at ang maraming dusa at lungkot ng anak kinuha din sa ina. Ngunit iilan ang mga inang nakakaalam na ang pagdadalang tao ng kanila mga anak sa kanila mga anak ay nagdudulot ito ng bukas. Kaya nga, pag ang ina nung siya ay nagdadalang tao, nagbubuntis, siya ay maligalig, marami siyang problema, kadalasan ng anak ay maligalig din. Kung ang ina ay masayahin nung siya ay nagdadalang tao, ang mga anak ay ano? Maayos din ang buhay. Maganda rin ang pananaw. Saan nila nakuku nakuha yun? Because the emotion of the mothers, the emotion of the mother, whether you like it or not, prepared the child 
before he or she comes out to this world. Kaya nga mahalaga na ang mga ina sa kanilang pagbubuntis ay inaalagaan ng kanilang mga sarili, ang kanilang mga pag-iisip, ang kanilang mga puso, hindi lamang para sa kanilang sarili, kundi para sa kanilang mga anak. I remember a priest before he was about to be ordained. And of course, part of the seminary program, we undergo a lot of psychological programs. And these seminarians, seminarians, was so distrustful to everyone. Sabi nga ng formators, hindi ito magiging pari. Hindi ito magiging pari. Kasi paano ka magiging pari na hindi ka marunong magtiwala sa ibang tao? Prinoseso ito. Dumaan ito sa maraming proseso. And one time, one time, in one of the sessions, it was revealed to him that he saw himself with someone in the womb of, her, of his mother. So he was asked to ask his mother, do you have a twin? Do you have a twin? Of course, he was afraid to ask because he did not come out with somebody who died but he took the courage to ask his mother, Ma, ako ba ay may kakambal nung ako'y iyong binubuntis? And the mother sob, and the mother sob, sobbing so, sobbing ay talagang grabe ang pag-iyak. And then in the seminarian eyes, why? Ano nangyari? And the mother made a confession na nung siya'y binubuntis, nung siya'y binubuntis, binalak ng nanay na sila'y ilaglag. Pero hindi alam ng ina na sila'y kambal. Nung nalaglag ang isa, akala ng nanay, iyon na yun. May naiwan palang isa. May naiwan. Why there is a distrust? Because can you imagine a person where all my vulnerability is being put into her hands wanted to kill me? Alam po ninyo, mga minamahal na mga kapatid, Marami tayong problema sa mundong ito na dahil nakaugat lamang sa pagbubuntis o pagpapalaki ng kanila mga ina sa kanila mga anak. You asked it. Maybe one or two or some of your problems or of, of your struggles in life is brought about by how you are, you were in the womb of your mother, in you and how you were raised in this world. Kaya nga mahalaga yun eh. Mahalaga ng isang ina ay merong isang malinis, walang bahid, walang dugis na puso at kalooban. Itanong po ninyo, sapagkat may mga problema na sadyang hindi kayang lutasin sa pagkukunwari na wala naman akong ginawang mali. What is the first reading trying to tell us? To rejoice heartily. Hindi lang ako'y masaya, kundi masayang masaya. Dahil naintindihan ko ang paghahanda ng Diyos bago pa ako dumating sa mundong ito. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, hindi madali na meron kang Diyos sa iyong buhay. Sabi nga ni Maria, bakit mo ito ginawa? 
bakit mo ito ginagawa sa amin? Sapagkat sadyang ang, ang Diyos ay dumating. Ano sabi ng Diyos nung siya bago ipako? Because I am making all things new. You want Jesus in your life? You must be willing to embrace the many inconvenience so that God can make all things new in your life. Be merry. Be like Mary. Sabi, nga, sabi ko nga sa inyo, ang mas mahalaga talaga ay puso kaysa sa utak. Hindi ko naman sinasabing huwag kang mag-iisip. Marami rin problema ang dinulot ng mga taong hindi nag-iisip. Pero makakapasok ka sa langit, hindi dahil ikaw ay matalino, kundi dahil malinis ang iyong puso. Hindi ibig sabihin hindi ka nagkakamali. Hindi ibig sabihin na intindihan mo lahat. Pero huwag mong kakalimutan mga kapatid, na ikaw, ako, ay makakapasok sa pinto ng langit hindi sa talino ng isip, kundi sa linis ng puso. Amen. Let us bring to God through the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary our intentions and petitions O Immaculate Heart of Mary, Heavenly Beauty and Splendor of the Father, You are the most valued heavenly treasure. The new Eve, Immaculate in soul, spirit, and body, created of the godly seed by the Spirit of God. You are the spiritual mother of mankind, pure virgin, full of grace, then and now, your whole being was raised heavenly in full glory to be elevated above all the hosts within the kingdom of God. O heavenly mother, queen of heaven and earth, I recognize the glory of your highest title, the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Loving mother, dispenser of endless blessings, you who continuously intercede on our behalf, please present my need before your loving Son, Jesus. Let's spend few moments of silence. And I invite you that you personally ask God for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Pray for healing. Pray for protection. Pray for order in your life. Pray for reconciliation. Beg God for forgiveness. O oh, Immaculate Heart of Mary, I know that you are now presenting my need before Jesus, for you never turn away those in dire need. My dearest mother, I await your favorable answer, submitting myself to the divine will of the Lord, for all glories as is forever and ever. Amen. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share the divinity of Christ. 
who humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of man hands, and made it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice. We offer you with humble and contrite heart. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the mother of your Son, no petitions may go unanswered, no requests be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with yours. Up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. To praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's end you have done great things. And extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid. He gave us through her the author of our salvation. Your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through Him, the host of angels adores Your Majesty and rejoices in Your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of Your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the pound of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our administrator, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children. 
gathered before your holy presence. Again, let's spend a few moments of silence, and brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. We continue to pray for those who are celebrating their birthday today, their wedding and for those who are sick at home, in the hospital, we pray for all those asking for prayers who need special attentions, dialysis, chemotherapy, those people who have autoimmune diseases, that cannot find medication for their sickness. For those who are stranded up to now, those who have lost their jobs, we pray in a special way also for all our overseas Filipino workers all over the world, especially for those who have been struggling emotionally. They are getting depressed and troubled. We pray for the repose of the souls of all our dearly departed. We pray in a special way for the intentions of all our donors. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Santa Maria Goretti, and all the saints of pleasure throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father. In the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world. And grant unity in accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. 
You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in Holy Communion. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio of Petrochina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength, that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire much, and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for I I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late, coming to a close, and life, death, 
judgment. Eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way. And for that, I need you. It is approaches the darkness, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of dangers I need you let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness the force which sustains the joy of my heart stay with me Lord because at the hour of my death I want to remain united to you if not by communion at least by grace and love Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive the heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy that we who rejoice Commemorating the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue the new Archbishop or the Archdiocese of Manila. Heavenly Father, you have blessed our Archdiocese. Good, holy, learned, and wise shepherds who have led us ever closer to you. Aware of your purpose for us, we ask as a good, holy, learned, and wise man to become our next Archbishop. Inspire us, the clergy, religious, and laity, to work generously with him so that we might grow together in your love. And continue the good work you have begun in us for the sake of all people. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for our, for fa for our family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. A smile upon our parents. And surround our children with the soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly mention your intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Please rise. Yesterday, we had communion outside the Mass, 10 o'clock in the morning until 11, people came, and it was not that really 
I mean, problematic. Ano pa? I don't think we can accu- we can be accused of social gathering. Wala naman. Ano pa? So today, again, those who are listening, we will have a communion 10 o'clock to 11. Tomorrow, Sunday, you can come again to receive communion at 10 o'clock to 11. Hindi pa po bukas ang simbahan para sa misa, but at least you can come for communion. You continue to listen on our online masses. Ano pa? And as we understand more on how we can do this better, I will make an announcement. Ano? But at least ano po, to na, today, tomorrow, we can, you can come to Santa Maria Goreta and receive communion. Second, we, we plan to do this and uh, for the many questions being asked, sabi ko nga sa inyo, ibang tanong naman worth answering in online because I believe you are not the only one asking for it. Kanina, I mean kagabi, ang tanong ay, Padar, ano masasabi mo sa chain letters? Chain letters. Ang sagot po doon ay, wag ho kayo maniwala diyan kalokohan yan. Ano po? Don't believe on a chain letters. Ano po? Disregard them. Throw them away. Ha? Dati, talagang sulat eh. Ngayon, messages. If you send this to 10 people, you will receive the number from Lotto to win. Kalokohan yan. Ano pa? Wag ho kayo maniniwala just sa chain letters. Ano pa? Don't entertain the thought that there are cheap graces. Ano? Didinging ka ng Diyos ay mga panalangin sa pag-forward lang ng message. Hindi naman ganun kababaw ang Diyos. Ano pa? Wag ho kayo maniniwala dyan. Pag sinabing, pag hindi mo ito pinasa, may mangyayari hindi maganda sa iyo. Lalo nang huwag mong ipapasa yan. Ano pa? Nananakot pa. Hindi po ba? Ano? So, chain letters are not true. Sa lunis, magsisimula tayo. After the mass, we will dedicate 10, 10 to 15 minutes lang answering questions that being forwarded or being sent to me. You can send the question to my personal FB messenger or in Santa Maria Goretti Live or Santa Maria Goretti fan page. Ano pa? Magtanong. Ano pa? Magtanong. Ha? Pero piliin nyo naman ang tanong. Ano pa? Huwag naman yung wala akong kinalaman. Ba't ganun ang mukha ng tatay ko? Malay ko. Hindi ko po alam. Ano po? Yung pwede ko lang sagutin. Ano po? Ano nga ba? Nawala tuloy ako. Going back to what I've said earlier. The heart, the heart of the mother influenced the heart of their children. Humanly speaking, the heart of the mother influenced the heart of their children. But the Immaculate Heart was not able, was not the one who influenced the Sacred Heart. It was the other way around. It was the Sacred Heart of Jesus that influenced the Immaculate Heart. Sabi ko nga, we become what we eat. But when we receive communion, the communion we receive is the one who transforms us. Hindi pa ako pari. At hindi ko kailangan maging pari para ipahayag sa inyo ito. Ang katotohanan na ano? That through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Huwag niyong kakalimutan yan. Mga minamahal mga kapatid, walang sino mang dumudulog sa mahal na birhen na umuwi ng kanya mga panalangin na hindi nadidinig, ng kanya mga hinaing 
ay may uwi lang kung saan. I'm saying this not because I am a priest, but this is the reality. You can never love Jesus without loving His mother. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our signs, mourning and weeping in this body of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after these, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. God bless.